The performances in Suddenly Last Summer are brilliant, the narrative's really interesting, the pacing is a little slow, but generally it's enjoyable. This was released originally in 1959, directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz, written by Gore Vidal, and based on the play by Tennessee Williams. I've neither seen nor read the play, but if you have any thoughts on that or know how it compares, I also believe Williams contributed to the screenplay as well. Um, but if you know how it compares, please feel free to let me know that information. And this focuses on two characters primarily. We have uh, Catherine, played by Elizabeth Taylor, who's in a mental institution. And we also have Violet Venable, played by Catherine Hepburn. And suddenly last summer, Violet's son, Sebastian, died. And he'd been on holiday with his cousin, Catherine. And while, uh, or once he died, Catherine um, became mentally unstable and that led to her um, being placed in this mental hospital and Violet is talking with the doctor to trying to trying to get him to lobotomize Catherine and this is a lot of the discussion throughout the entire film and I'd say half of the film takes place with Violet and uh, the doctor who played who's played by Montgomery Clift and the other half takes place in the hospital with Catherine and Catherine can't actually remember what happened. And we we learn about what happens with Sebastian, but nothing's quite clear. And the doctor has a lot of questions. He does a lot of probing. Violet's kind of hesitant with some of her answers and just some things amiss. But I won't say any more than that. I thought it was a really fascinating concept. I do love films and stories about mental hospitals because I find that they're always really fascinating. The characters are often very interesting, which is definitely the case with Catherine, Catherine Holly, Elizabeth Taylor's character. And I thought her performance uh, was brilliant. And the scenes in the hospital I found really, really interesting. Catherine Hepburn gave an amazing but annoying performance. I love, I love her, <laughs> but her character was just fascinatingly irritating because she talked of her son with such high regard that it's unnatural. Her son was this perfect poet whose gift wasn't realised. They doted on each other. Their summers were always spent together with the best of times and it just she seems to really be exaggerating this mother-son relationship. That's not to say a mother and son can't be close but it seems like she held Sebastian on a pedestal and he could do no wrong and she was his world basically and she keeps just going on and on and on and on and it's really annoying but in a way that's really fascinating because I, it's it, there's this wonder about what the point in this is where is she going with this why is she so devoted to her son's memory in a way that's not healthy is it just the way she's processing the grief which I guess is understandable or is there something else at play and I thought it was really good as I said the pacing was a little slow there are times when I feel like we could have cut out quite a bit of dialogue or I guess uh, Violet's monologues we could definitely have chopped up without losing anything and we still would have got a sense of how she felt about her son I don't think there was much with Catherine Holly that I think we could have lost um, or could have taken out but I do think as much as I love Catherine Hepburn, her character was very repetitive and there were things we could have removed and shortened the film a bit without feeling like it was dragging. But it's not so much that it hindered my enjoyment. I still found that I was watching it all the way through with interest and curiosity. And because we have Hepburn and Taylor, it, it was just stunning. Their performances were, were absolutely brilliant. Thoroughly recommend it. Uh, I do think had the casting not been spot on there, um, it might have been a little bit different. It might not have been a good. I've just realised that Eddie Fisher was actually credited um, as, 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 well, I won't say what the character is just in case it spoils, but uh, he's credited as a, a random extra character. I might have to go back and look for that because I didn't pick up on that. Um, but yeah, had the casting been different, had it, had their performances not been as powerful, I don't think the narrative would have carried itself. But because it seems to tick all of the boxes, uh, yeah, it was nominated for three Oscars as well. It didn't win any, but I don't think that affects the quality at all. If it sounds like your kind of film, I definitely 
recommend it. I didn't love it enough to go and see the stage play or to see a production of it, but I wouldn't mind watching the film again.